This is the fourth video in a series on project management. Today I'd like to discuss PERT. PERT stands for the Project Evaluation and Review Technique. As I stated on the first video, PERT was the technique for the stochastic uh, times on the, on the project, on the activity times. It's where there's uncertainty in, the, in terms of the activity times. So let's say we've got the same project as before uh, with activities A through H. And we ask the uh, people doing the work on these activities um, what the optimistic time for the project is, the most probable time, and the pessimistic time for each activity. So let's say that they said, well, optimistically, we'll finish this activity A in one day. Most probable is two days. Pessimistically, three days. And we get the same information for every activity. Notice on this one, activity G, optimistically, it's three. Most probable is four. But there's quite a stretch there. Pessimistically, it's 11 days. So there's some uncertainty then in terms of how much time it's going to take to complete these activities. And if you've got some people with experience, they should be able to tell you pretty accurately their judgments on, 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 on these ranges. <clears throat> In the next column, what we've got is the expected time then. The expected time is calculated by taking A, which is the optimistic, plus 4M, which is the most probable, plus B, the pessimistic, and divide that by 6. So it's like a weighted average. You're putting a weight of 1 on the A and a 1 on the B and a weight of 4 on the most probable. So uh, we would take 1 plus 4 times 2, let's see, that's 8, 9, plus 3 is 12, divided by 6 is 2. Of course, this is pretty e easy. If the difference here is the same as the difference there, then it's just right in the middle. Likewise, here is the difference of 1, difference of 1, so it's 3. This one down here was different. Uh, difference of 1, difference of 7, so we have to use the formula 3 plus 4 times 4 plus 11 divided by 6 will give you an a, a expected time of 5. Okay, the next step then is to use these expected times just like we did in the first video and put it in the network diagram and figure out where the critical path is. Well, it turns out the way I've got these numbers set up, the expected times are exactly the same as the times that we had in the first video. So this, from here on out, the, the problem is exactly the same because we recall that we had A, C, E, G, and H were the critical path activities with a expected time of 15. Uh, the next thing we'd like to do then is calculate some probabilities. Say we're interested in the probability of uh, completing this project within 16 days. We know the expected time is 15, but let's say that we need to really get this done within 16 days. What's the probability? Well, what we can do is calcul calculate the variance for each activity. The variance formula up here is B minus A divided by 6 squared. So it's the pessimistic minus the optimistic over 6 squared. So, for example, this one we take 3, that 3, minus 1 divided by 6 squared. So it's 2 over 6 squared. Uh, or 4 over 36. And we calculate the variance for every activity. Now, we'd like to calculate the project variance and the project standard deviation. Now, recall that the uh, critical path was A, C, E, G, and H, so we'll only take the variance from those six activities and add them up to get the project variance down here is 112 over 36 or 3.11. Well, we're interested in getting the, the standard deviation, so we just take the square root of 3.11. The standard deviation then is 1.76 days. The 3.11 is in squared days. Now we can use that standard deviation in our calculations, which we've got on the next page. Now, the first assumption we make is that the total project time is going to be normally distributed. Okay, normally distributed. And the expected time, the 15 that we had on the critical path, is at the mean of that distribution. Now, some people may argue with this, this assumption and say, well, it's not normally distributed. It's probably going to look something like this because most projects are late. But 
uh, let's just go along with the assumption that if you've got a lot of activities, of probably more than 30 when the central limit there kicks in, but anyway, uh, you've got a lot of activities, let's assume it's a normal distribution, with a mean of 15. Well, earlier I stated we wanted to calculate the probability that it's within 16 days, so we'll put 16 on there, and so I'm interested in this probability down here. Of course, since we know this is a normal distribution, we know that the probability on each side of the mean is 50%. So we know that this area in the bell-shaped curve is 50%. What we don't know is this area here. So to get that probability, which is, you see it's 0.2157, but we use the z-distribution. We standardize it to the z standard normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Recall that z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So the x is the 16 here, the mu, the mean, is the 15 here, and the sigma is what we calculated on the previous page, the standard deviation of 1.76. And we get 0.57. Is that the probability? Well, no, that's not the probability, that's the z, the standard normal distribution, the z, from the z distribution. Uh, well, what's the probability then, if that's the z? Well, you can go to a textbook and look up in a z-chart, or you could probably also go to Excel and look it up, uh, and find out that the z, the probability associated with the z, is 0.2157. Typically in the textbooks, they'll show you this area here associated with that z. You, you find the, uh, the, the uh, 0 uh, 0.57 in the z-chart, and that where it intersects will give you the probability to 0.2157. So then finally, to answer the question, the probability that the total time is less than 16 is this area plus this area, which of course is 0.2157 plus the 0.5 to get 71.57%. If that's not acceptable, well then you better go back to some crashing and uh, reduce that total project time to increase that probability. So once again, this is PERT. This is the project evaluation review technique used when there's uncertainty on the activity times.